former UCLA running back, second team All-American, second round NFL draft pick, played in the Super Bowl, student and graduate assistant at UCLA from 13 to 16, running backs coach at Texas Tech and UCLA from 16 to 23, and now the head coach of the UCLA Bruins, Deshaun Foster. And they also say, Smo, that you still may have a handprint of his on your chest from a stiff arm in a game back in the day. And I don't know if that's true or not, right? But they do say that he used to crack some ribs with his stiff arm. Coach, we welcome to have you on the show. Now, now Coach, you know what? I, I, before even Coach Foster goes on, now, we have two smokes on here. But I'm going to give you the floor today and have you be the official smoke for today, okay. Coach Foster. I'll take but that. now, you know what, Carl? He didn't catch me with it. It was my 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 safety, Reggie Miles. I was I was more intelligent not to run up on it when I seen one of the mean and stiff arm <laughs> in the game. Stick him one time. I said, I want no none of that. I'm going to go ahead and just roll tackle him, bite them ankles. You had a plan. You, you were smarter than that. I don't know if he had a plan <laughs> running up, but you know, uh, it was a good game, though. No, great game. Enjoyed playing against Bama. And it was even fun going out there, playing in y'all stadium and just the environment and being in the South and just seeing all that. But you know, it was it was a good uh, rivalry we had for two years. Coach, there's often talk about minority hires in football. How significant was it for you to be named the football coach at UCLA? Um, just huge. Basically, uh, me getting an opportunity to, to coach at my alma mater. Uh, you know the type of history that UCLA has. Um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Arthur Ashe, Jackie Jordan-Kersey, uh, Flo Jo. So, you know, just, just speaking on a couple people. But, you know, just the history of Jackie, Jackie Robinson, just the history of Black athletes that have been here. You know, it's an honor to be able to lead this football program. Man, Coach, you know what? There, there's two of your guys on your staff right now. My brother Ted White and Juan Castile. We, we we have tons of stories to talk about them, but just putting your staff together. How did you come about doing that with having some guys with NFL history and also they understand the collegiate game? Yeah, I just wanted the I wanted teachers, people that are, you know, not just coaches, not recruiters, but teachers. Really get out there and and teach these young men how to be men and then teach them how to, to play football, you know? So um, I, I wanted to hire the, the people that were most qualified for that. And, you know, and the, and the, the group of guys that I ended up hiring, and that's, that's what I felt was most appropriate for this uh, situation. Coach, I wanted to, to piggyback off what you just said, because you and I had a conversation the other day. How important is it for guys to not pigeonhole themselves as recruiters and develop themselves as coaches? And what are some of the things they can do to show that they really have elite ability to coach and develop guys on the field? Well, as an ex-player, you know, they they already pigeonhole you. So you have to do a lot to get out of that. And just in my personal journey, I didn't want anything to be handed to me. So I wanted to get out there and earn anything that I got. And I wasn't looking for a handout. So I came back to UCLA. I was a volunteer. I was basically out here. I was a student coach, but I wasn't getting paid. And I was cool with that because I wanted to earn you know, everybody's respect and let them know that I was serious about this. And then, you know, just being the type of teacher that I am, I wanted to um, make sure that I can develop guys and not just recruit them, you know. Um, when you're coaching, it's not all about just get some five stars, you know. You're not going to be able to do that every time. So some kids, you're going to have to get a two, three star, maybe even a walk on, but you got to develop them. And, you know, my last four running backs have been drafted. I had one in the um, what that went free agent this year. So I take pride in that. One of them was a walk-on, Josh Kelly, went fourth round to the Chargers. So I'm just huge on developing guys. And, you know, um, you, you still want to recruit, but just don't hang your hat on that. You know, just get in. You, you want to make sure that your your head coach knows that you're, you understand the X's and O's and you can, you can do exactly everything that other people in your position can do too. Coach, you said a mouthful, and, and, and I'm, I'm hoping that these young recruits that are there in your building right now understand that the first thing that you said was teacher development, mm -hmm. understanding that you don't have to be a five-star in order to get drafted. You can walk on and still do that as long as you stick to the process, understand that it takes more than just talent to get to the level that you are at, myself was at, the, the position that, I mean, Carl coached a bunch of guys at. Mm -hmm. But... Being at UCLA, and you touched on it earlier with the Trailblazers and Jackie Robinson, 
Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Arthur Ashe. What did it mean to you to attend there and play there and become such a star? It, it was huge. You know, at the time, you don't really understand it. But just going back and reflecting on my career and just reflecting on um, being an athlete here at this school, it's UCLA has been in the, the, the front of a lot of stuff, you know. So I'm just blessed that I was able to get this opportunity. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fully qualified for this job. It wasn't a handout. And I'm um, – I'm ready to hit the Big Ten running. When you talk about trailblazers, um, you 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 said some tremendous things about the guys that came before you at UCLA, and you also one of those guys. What is it you're telling the players on your current roster on the importance of being a Bruin, like the the responsibility that they have when they put that uniform on? It's 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 deeper than this game. You know, so I'm, I'm literally reiterating that to them daily. Um, you're going to be a regular person way longer than you're a football player. So we got to work on building men that just so happily are good football players. And I think we're just doing a good job of that right now. My players have bought in. And there's just a short amount of time since February, since I got hired, had a great spring, uh, stayed healthy, um, had a great spring showcase at the, at the Rose Bowl. So, you know, the fans came out, you know, and I'm just excited to get this going. But like I said, um, you just always want to, you know, just don't look for a handout and let's go out and then let's make sure that you're prepared and, and you're ready to teach, you know, because if I think if you go into it with I'm ready to teach and develop guys, the sky's the limit for you. Oh, let me get another thing. Another thing, something that we need to do just as coaches, try to put people in position to, to grow. So, you know, make somebody a GA, help, you know, do that. You don't have to just put them in a position, but help them become a GA because that's what changes things. You know, if you get guys becoming GAs and then maybe he can work with a different position from there or instead of just coming right in and going straight to a position, just earn your earn, earn your keep a little bit get, and you can work your way up. But we just have to get that opportunity, and I don't think that the opportunity is there sometimes. Coach, you said a mouth. We just touched on that topic um, right before we jumped on. Mm -hmm. And just to understand, like, most people think that you have to be overly qualified for the opportunity that you get. And I tell people, my example is I was never qualified for any job that I got. Mm -hmm. I earned my way while I was on that job and got on the job training. Now, Coach, you're trending all over social media with DRE, do more. What does that mantra mean to you and your program? So uh, the discipline, respect, and enthusiasm, those are my three pillars. You know, um, we're going to be a disciplined team. We're going to respect the game, our teammates. Uh, coaches, parents, family, women, and then we're always going to play with enthusiasm. Those are three things that you will see from my team no matter what. And then do more is just we got to turn that corner. You know, we, we've won eight games for a couple of years now, and I just was telling everybody that whatever you're doing, do more, including coaches. You watching film, watch more film. You down there lifting, getting extra work in, let's do some more of that. You're um, studying uh in, in the classroom let's just study some more so everything in your life that you're doing just do more and i just felt that that was such a simple term that really means a lot it speaks volume for what it means just get out there and do more coach at 24 7 we obviously known for recruiting a lot of the viewers that that watch us they want to hear recruiting news and things like that smoke and i we try to bring a little different spin on it because we love to talk about roster building and roster management. Mm -hmm. So as the new coach at UCLA, what is your roster building method? We saw you had a huge UCLA Friday Night Light event here recently that produced a lot of prospects. But what? It, how are you going to go about building your roster? What are the importances, things that you're looking for in recruits? Um, well, we're going to the portal. So we, we uh, we've had success with the portal with the guys that have played and just taking guys that, you know, um, we really fit fit our program. But um, mostly it's uh, high school kids are like draft picks and the portal is free agents. You know, we wanna we wanna get in there. If, we, if we're if we recruiting you as a high school kid, we think that you're a draftable kid first, second or third round. And then um, if we're going in the portal, you know, we, we must not, we have a hole that we're trying to fill or we just haven't developed a guy ready for that position, but and we'll fix it with a with a portal. But um, you know, just getting talent in here, it's 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 a that that roster building thing is really key because that's your culture. 
And, you know, you got to make sure that you're putting the right type of kids in this locker room that really want to be here and don't want to hit the portal when things get tough. So you got to get through that. And, and, you know, it's kind of it's a learning curve, but I think we're doing a pretty good job. At so, Coach, I used to be a high school coach. Smoke Dixon used to be one of the top players in the country. You're the head coach now at UCLA. So if you're sitting in my office and I got smoke next to me, tell me why he should be a Bruin and why I should be excited about allowing him to come play for you at UCLA. So the first thing, I don't have a pitch. This is, we, you know, we, we're genuine over here. Everybody has a, it's a separate thing, but you know, just for you, would it be, um, I'm going to ask you what you're looking for in a, in a school. You know, I'm going to tell you just what we are. This is a family environment. Um, the academic speak for itself is UCLA. You know, this is a brand that is global. Um, we're going into the Big Ten, so you will get the exposure to play big time football. And um, like I said, this is, is I'm kind of biased to it because, you know, I win here, but it's just a great university. You know, I don't think that there's too many schools out there that can actually say that they're um, a very number one public institute and can play uh, high athletics and football. And, but that's something that we do here at a high level. And, we're going to continue to do it. But I was just tell you, you know, we're, we're, dream, we're dream catchers over here. We don't chase the dream. We catch them. So if you want to go to the league, this is where it's at. Coach, listen, Coach, you got me locked in just for the simple <laughs> fact. <you> say, just, <laughs> listen, knowing you as a, as a person and know what you stand for as a player and what you produce at your position when you were coaching, I already understand what you're going to do at the head coaching position and the people that you brought into that building. Mm -hmm. And as a player, and, I, and, I, and I'm truthful to myself, I was one of those guys just like you. I was trying to get it. I never wanted anyone to hand me anything because anybody that hand you something, they're quickly to take it back. I wanted to go get it for myself. And when you said you wanted good people in your building, respect, enthusiasm, and you have teachers in your building, if you have a teacher in your building, you're going to have plenty of students. And when you have students, we know that the untapped ability of a student is like no other. You can't tell me what you guys can reach if you keep that same enthusiasm, attitude, and the ultimate respect of yourself, your opponent, and your building. So when you bring in all those good fruits in your building, you're not going to bring one bad apple in there to rot in the crowd. I That's like right. that, man. That's no right. pitch, but straight to it, action. Coach, we want to thank you for taking time away. We know you got guys on campus. We appreciate you coming, taking the time to come on Unfiltered today, and we wish you massive success. We are really excited to see your UCLA Bruins this fall. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Make sure you Smoke, be good, good brother. Make sure you, uh, you boost up that recruiting class that we got coming, all right? <laughs> hey, we're going we gonna to dive into it. Me and Smoke are dive into it and check the tapes out, man, and, and start yeah. talking about what you're doing out there for sure. All right. Appreciate you guys, though. Love the show. All right, my brother. Thanks, guys. Guys, for more UCLA coverage, visit BruinReportOnline.com for the latest news on Bruins football and recruiting.